Okay, so on Surefire X300 U-A series weapons lights that are built for polymer framed handguns like this Glock 19 right here come with a rail attachment system. So even if you buy the U-A version, right, um, which is designed for that and not the metal like screw type system, it does come with the parts to give it attachment on metal frame weapons right so because i'm swapping out just the base plates these guys and i saw this little interesting attachment system i figured i would put it in and see how it worked just because i felt like it so it comes with a one two three four components to make this guy work so this tab is basically spring loaded under here to make this thing uh, slide in and out so when you go to put it on the weapon it'll look like this except you know you're going to have your little rails on here so it'll look more complete but once those rails are on here you would slide this onto the gun and then you would slide this guy in until it locks like that you heard that little pop i'm sure so that pop is actually from these guys right here there's a little plastic spring right here and when you pull on those two tabs it pulls this back and it compresses it it's essentially just a compression system where you know this when it's sitting inside of the light right here has that little rail that this guy rides in um, and compressing this spring and pulling it back essentially allows this to slide in and out and fit your picatinny or universal rail type system whichever one that you decide to use now this silver part, uh, you might be wondering what that is. So best I can figure it is, is there's this silver wedge under here, right? And this silver screw is accessible from the side. I believe it's 5 ths which is the same as these screws up here. So the way it works is when you tension this screw, which presses up against the aluminum housing of the light, there's this little wedge right here. And you're going to have to trust me, it is a wedge. I'll uninstall it just so that way you can see it. But um, by tensioning that this wedge, right, it pushes up against this piece of plastic. And what that has the effect of doing is it pushes up on this tab that says Surefire. And that would then push up against the bottom of your weapon, creating tension between the light and the weapon. So that way the light doesn't shift around or move back and forth. It's really an overbuilt system. Um, if you are going with this, I would assume it's because of the fact that you messed up and instead of buying the UB version, you're buying the UA and you're like, well, shit, I need to put this on a metal frame gun. And there you have it. That's what you're doing it on. But anyhow, either way, UA is probably the way you'd want to go if you bought a, you know, you're just going to buy this for any weapon metal frame or plastic frame this the ua version would be what i would go with um, just because it has to me at least without doing a side-by-side -side comparison more provisions to mount it on polymer frame and metal frame handguns 